Hey, I'm Daniel from Ratings.com. All right, so we've now tested more than 30 monitors this year, from budget 1080p models to super ultra-wide VA gaming monitors to 240 hertz monitors with TM panels. In this video, we'll be going over the best ones for you to buy depending on your use and budget. We'll start with a quick summary of what you should look for when choosing a gaming monitor, and then move on to our recommendations. We'll start with budget models with 1080p resolutions, and then work our way up to 1440p and ultra-wide models. You can also skip ahead with timestamps in the description box. When considering which of these monitors to get, there's a few important things to consider. Obviously, one of the most important considerations is price, but also consider the panel type. Generally, TN-type panels offer some of the best motion for the lowest price, but also tend to have the worst picture quality. IPS panels tend to have better picture quality and can also have excellent motion handling, but at a higher price. VA panels tend to be pretty rare for monitors, but offer better picture quality for a dark room, although they tend to have issues with motion in dark scenes. Another important consideration is if you care about variable refresh rate technologies for reduced tearing when gaming. Now, in recent years, most gaming monitors come with some form of variable refresh rate technology, and there's no downside to getting it even if you don't plan to use it. There are two main standards, NVIDIA's proprietary G-Sync and FreeSync, which was developed by AMD but is an open standard. You used to have to match your monitor's variable refresh rate standard to the brand of your graphics card, but this has opened up in the past year. The result is that FreeSync monitors can be used with AMD graphics cards or newer NVIDIA graphics cards, while VRR on G-Sync displays is only compatible with NVIDIA graphics cards. For most people, FreeSync displays are a better choice, as not only do they have wider compatibility, but they tend to be cheaper. Some people may prefer G-Sync displays for guaranteed compatibility with their NVIDIA graphics card and variable overdrive though. Now, other important considerations are refresh rates, higher is better for smoother, fast-paced motion, input lag, lower is better for improved responsiveness and reaction times, and response times, faster is better for clearer images with less blur. Each of the monitors we've selected for this list perform well in these areas though. So with that said, let's get on to our recommendations. If you're on a budget but still want a fast 144Hz refresh rate for FPS or other fast-paced gaming, then check out the ViewSonic XG2402. It's a 24-inch monitor with a TN-type panel. This results in bad viewing angles, so the colors at the edges of the screen look a bit different than the center, but it also has an extremely fast response time, so fast motion is very clear and smooth at high refresh rates. It also supports FreeSync variable refresh rates to reduce screen tearing when gaming. We tested the compatibility with NVIDIA's G-Sync drivers on our GTX 1062 and found that it works well. The input lag is also low as expected for any gaming monitor at about 4 milliseconds. Overall, it's a great choice if your primary concern is motion and you don't mind the relatively low resolution 1080p display and low native contrast with blacks that appear grey in the dark. Now, if you're after a monitor with a 144Hz refresh rate and 1080p panel in a larger 27-inch size, then check out the ASUS VG279Q. It has an IPS panel with better viewing angles, so the edges of the screen don't look washed out. It also supports FreeSync and has very good motion handling, resulting in very little blur behind fast-moving objects. It's one of the best gaming monitors that we've tested, and a better choice than the ViewSonic if you can afford it. It also supports black frame insertion for even clearer motion if you don't mind the added flicker. So, this next monitor is if you want a higher resolution 1440p screen for a more detailed image and have the budget. This is the Gigabyte Aorus AD27QD. It also has an IPS panel with similar picture quality to the ASUS. It also supports FreeSync and we found it to be compatible with both our AMD PC and our NVIDIA one with the latest drivers. It also has a wider range of cool gaming features than most of the other monitors on this list, including a couple of unique ones. If you plug your headset with a microphone into this monitor, then it can apply some active noise cancellation. While many people will see this as a gimmick, we found it to do a decent job. It doesn't have as fast of a response time as the TN monitors, but still offers impressive performance with very little blur. 
Now, if you're after a great 1440p and 144Hz G-Sync monitor, then check out the ASUS ROG Swift PG279QZ or the PG279Q, which is basically the same monitor. It's also overclockable to 165Hz, which is great for fast motion. Like the Gigabyte, it has an IPS panel with good viewing angles, so the colors at the edges of the screen remain accurate. It also has a similarly low input lag at about 4 milliseconds and excellent motion handling with a very fast response time. It has a flicker-free backlight, but it supports NVIDIA's Ultra Low Motion Blur or ULMB technology, which is NVIDIA's version of black frame insertion for even clearer motion. It's a great choice for tear-free gaming if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. Another format of monitors that have been increasingly popular in recent years are ultra-wide gaming monitors. These generally provide a higher resolution, allowing for more details and many people find the aspect ratio more immersive. The LG 34GK950F is an excellent choice for ultrawide gaming with a 3440x1440 resolution and a fast 144Hz refresh rate. It has an IPS panel with decent picture quality and handles motion well with a fast response time and FreeSync support. It also supports a black frame insertion feature to improve the motion clarity further if you don't mind the flicker. Now, if you're after an even more immersive gaming experience, then check out the Samsung CRG9. With a 49-inch diagonal, it's big and is equivalent in size and resolution to two 27-inch 1440p monitors placed side by side. The CRG9 delivers a great gaming experience overall, with an extremely fast response time, low input lag, and a fast 120Hz refresh rate. It has a VA-type panel and so can produce deeper dark scenes than these other options, which makes it a great pick for a dark room. Unlike some other VA monitors, we didn't have problems with dark scene smearing on the CRG9, which is great. So as always, with any list of best picks, there will always be a few that are close but don't quite make it. The LG 27GL850 is a very interesting monitor, which has had a lot of hype for its 144Hz panel with an unusually fast response time. It does have one of the fastest response times that we've tested, resulting in exceptionally clear motion. However, it doesn't really stand out otherwise. If you want one of the fastest IPS panels, then it may be a good choice, but otherwise, most people will be better off going with the AD27QD or the PG279QZ. So in summary, if you're on a budget and want one of the cheapest 144Hz monitors for fast-paced gaming, then check out the ViewSonic XG2402. The biggest downsides are the relatively small 24-inch size and TN-type panel with worse picture quality than these other picks. As a result, if you can afford it, the ASUS VG279Q is a better choice and one of the best gaming monitors we've tested. If you're after a higher 1440p resolution, then check out the Gigabyte Aorus AD27QD. If you're after a G-Sync monitor for guaranteed compatibility with your NVIDIA graphics card, then check out the ASUS ROG Swift PG279QZ, although the G-Sync module comes at a higher price. If you're after a gaming monitor with an ultra-wide resolution, then check out the LG 34 GK950F. And if you're after the most immersive super ultra-wide, then check out the Samsung CRG9. So that's it. What do you think of our best gaming picks? Let us know down in the comments. You can check out all of the measurements on our website. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified of all of our latest videos. Also, become an insider on the website to get access to our latest test results first. Thank you for watching and see you next time.